Honorable Chancellor, do I have the permission of the Honorable Chancellor to commence the convocation proceedings of Sri Kondalakshman Telangana State Horticultural University, which has been called to confer degrees onto the candidates who in the examinations held for the purpose have been certified to be worthy of the same and present the report of the Vice Chancellor. Yes, permitted. Honorable Governor of Telangana, the Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry, and the Chancellor of Sri Kondalakshman Telangana State Horticultural University, Dr. Srimat Tamilasai Sondere Rajan Garu, Distinguished Chief Guest of today's program, Dr. Anand Kumar Singh Ji, DDG Horticultural Science, ICR New Delhi, esteemed members of the Board of Management, members of Academic Council, distinguished invited guests, faculty and retired faculty, former board members and university officers and staff of SKTSHU, representatives of print and electronic media, my dear students and parents, a very good morning to all. I feel pleasure, pleasure and delighted to be welcome each one of you on behalf of the university to this auspicious occasion of second convocation of Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticultural University. As if you all know that due to COVID restrictions, our first convocation was held on last year, 7th April. But today, it gives me immense pleasure to conduct this convocation in physical mode uh, in the main campus. At the outset, I would like to express heartiest congratulations to all graduates who will be receiving their degrees during this second convocation. Madam Chancellor, Madam, here, today is our eighth foundation day of our university and uh, my best wishes to all and also National Farmers Day wishes. With the permission of Honorable Chancellor and the President of the Convocation, I take this opportunity to present a brief report of university achievements for the period of 8th April to till date. The university with the mandate of the teaching and research and uh, extension comprises of uh, two colleges of horticulture, two horticultural polytechnics, 11 research stations and one KVK. The annual intake capacity of the students are 200 in diploma horticulture, 296 in BSc Hana, Hana's horticulture and 42 in MSc horticulture and 9 in PhD horticulture. It is a proud to announce that our university has been accredited by ICR for a period of five years from 28th March 2021 to 27th March 2026. During the year 2021-22, eight JRFs and 23 non-JRF seats were secured by our students. And in the present year, our students have secured eight SRF ranks and 28 JRF ranks and two national fellowship seats at ICR. Our university adopts ICR 15's uh, uh, committee uh, curriculum for uh, UG and BSMA guidelines for PG program. Student health care scheme, student academic act advisory system, placement cells are functioning actively at the constant colleges for the student well-being, academic monitoring and mentoring. Both the colleges and polytechnics have well-established hostels with good infrastructure and uh, sports facilities. We have five NSS units with 500 and plus volunteers enrolled from all the batches of UG and diploma program who are involved actively in various NSS activities. Apart from the regular classroom teaching, university also conducts various extracurricular activities to inculcate sport, sportiveness and to build up a strong and healthy personality. And recently, university has conducted second intercollegiate sports games, cultural and literary meet from 8th to 10th December of this year. Students have received accolades in various events such as SR rating electrician competition held as a part of Azadi Kamrut Mahachov and Telangana Jatiya Samaike Vajrachavale at Raj Bhavan. And during the second convocation, a total of 575 students will be conferred with degrees and 11 gold medals will be awarded. With respect to the research programs, the Horticulture University having a strong research component with 11 research stations with six ECRI projects. 
So during the last year, ARI 516, a promising juicy variety of grape suitable for processing industry for Telangana region was recommended at a national level in the ASRP 28 meeting of CVRCS for horticultural crops. Madam, this year just we submitted the geographical indication GA proposal for Varangal Chapata chilies. And the accession numbers were obtained from NBPGR for the new clones of jackfruit, tomato, bale. And uh, we identified selection 11, which is a jamun accession with a high superior quality, is uh, in a pipeline for release. Identified new improved varieties of turmeric, like a SSC number 48, which is to high in curcumin content and high yield when compared to the uh, Dugirala red. Apart from this, Rajendra Sonia, Rajendra Sonali, and so and forth also high in curcumin content. We standardized the low cost protein nursery shielding raising technology in turmeric and ginger. And uh, in Telangana, potato kufri chipsona is performing very well. Um, and uh, natural Telangana conditions are suitable, recorded, and average yield of 25.6 tons per hectare, which is uh, there is a lot of scope for this crop cultivation. The standardization of organic cultivation of aloe vera and as well as uh, turmeric and harvesting stages for herbage yield and uh, oil content in citronella and lemongrass and palm oils were developed. The university prioritized its research programs by identifying the research graphs through JRAC and subsequently formulated the technical programs by SLTP by involving all the line departments, scientists and progressive farmers. The university has assigned 25 MOUs with various public and private institutions and scientific societies in order to strengthen academia industry interface. And uh, uh, we are getting the funds uh, from agri projects as well as funds are granted from external funding agencies like DPT, RKVY, NHB, uh, NAHEP, and also MIDH and collaborated agro-based industries. The university has received an amount of rupees 500 lakhs as the state contingencies and uh, rupees 238 lakhs as the ICR contingents and development grants from 2019 to 2022. We have only one KVK at Pedda Ramgir Khilla, uh, which caters to the needs of extension activities with the financial support of the ICR. The university scientists are involved in popularizing the proven technologies and the adoption of improved varieties developed through various extension activities. In addition to this, various programs were organized by KVKs like a skill development training program on management of horticulture crops uh, conducted in collaboration with the NAM and also a mega plantation program was conducted uh, by planting bamboo, oil palm and mango at institutional farm from Girkilla. And uh, a millet unit was established at Nagaram village in Manthani Mandal to create awareness and value addition of millets to rural women and youth. And uh, our university also conducted mango mela at FRS Sangareti, exhibiting 265 mango varieties during the summer month. Apart from this, university is supplying more than 3 lakh good genuine true to type planting material of mango, gava, sweet orange, and so and so forth of different uh, uh, fruit crops and also vegetable seeds every year to the farmers of Telangana. The university has introduced a short term certification course in four, four various disciplines. During the past five years, about 380 research articles were published in various scientific journals and 20 bulletins, 25 booklets, and 60 pamphlets on various horticultural crops. The university has published Udhyana Darshini in recently during 2022 uh, September with the detailed package of practices uh, with the all commercially important horticultural crops. And uh, our uh, university has organized several webinars, training programs, workshops for the benefit of the students, scientific communities, and farmers. A few of them like horticulture entrepreneurship and le leadership development program to PG PhD students and the training programs conducted to SC farmers and the horticultural officers and the district horticultural sericultural officers and also conduct a brainstorming session on area expansion of grape in Telangana to encourage more number of grape growers in the state. 
university has facilitated to conduct the second cabinet subcommittee meeting on agriculture at our main campus on 5th may 2022 which was chaired by our honorable agricultural minister government of telangana i am happy to uh, announce about that all this is conference was organized jointly uh, by ddg education icr new delhi uh, at shanti kanhavanam uh, on uh, 30th september to 2nd october and uh, in this inaugural session honorable chancellor madam graced the occasion and interacted with uh, all vcs from the all over the india further mbu was signed between icr and the heartfulness education trust chel for introducing and implementation of yoga and meditation in the course curricula for ug program in scis nutritional intervention pilot program it is a flagship program of rajbhavan government of telangana that was taken up by university in six primitive uh, tribal groups and uh, wherein offerings of nutritionally important fruit crops and kitchen garden kits were supplied we got much appreciation from rajbhavan thank you madam and our university was ranked uh, 62 rank in the icr ranking of agricultural universities in the year 2020 our faculty were conferred with various international national and state level awards for their contributions in area of education research and extension during the current academic year various dignitaries and officials have visited our university so among them dr rc agarwal ji ddg icr education and dr h p singh pharma ddg horticulture and chairman of chai foundation and dr indresh honorable vc of hs pagalkot and various directors of ecrip centers have visited our university and different units in university and suggested technical inputs for the strengthening of the research program dr silvain an agronomist sirad from france as a part of his tour um, along with the horticulture consultant has visited newly planted hoy palm fields in mulugu mandal and offered valuable inputs for area expansion of oil palm in telangana because our telangana government is much focusing on oil palm uh, to meet the uh, vegetable oil requirement by the growing people and with respect to the administrative achievements i want to just a few a university has celebrated its seventh foundation day and 23rd december last year that is same day where sri d harish rao garu minister for finance health medical and family welfare has graced the occasion as a chief guest and released the university song university trademark logo and uh, sir has uh, promised and uh, allotted 60 acres of land as a instructional farm for our university my thanks are uh, due to sri t arishra garu and uh, university has uh, submitted proposals for new colleges three colleges and new research stations especially the chili and sea spice research station at varangal district is under consideration with government of telangana and uh, on 107th birthday anniversary of sri konda lakshman babu ji we launched our university website and also unveiled the statue of sri babu ji at college of horticulture rajendra nagar university has been conducting regular academic council meetings and subsequent board meetings and initiated bi monthly review meetings related to the research and teaching and the university has awarded promotions to the non teaching and the teaching staff the university has accorded affiliation status to the forest college and the research institute by amending the act and status of the university the university is going to initiate this pg program from the academic year 2022-23 this year pg institute for horticulture science established at main campus of the sklthu mulugu and also horticulture incubation and innovation center is initiated at sklthu mulugu as a co-hub center of norm for supporting and encouraging startups and budding entrepreneurs now i would like to express my sincere thanks to honorable chancellor madam uh, chancellor of sri konda lakshman telangana state horticultural university dr srimati tamilsai sondarajan garu for presiding the second convocation 
I wish to place and record Honorable Chief Minister Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao Garu for his vision and mission in making Telangana state one of the topmost in the country in fields of agriculture and horticulture. I am thankful to Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Cooperation and Marketing and Honorable Minister of Finance, Health, Medical and Family Welfare and the Chief Secretary of Telangana Government, MLAs and Principal Secretary of Finance, APC and Secretary to Government, Commission of Horticulture and other Secretaries to Government of uh, to Telangana for their support in strengthening the university. I express my thanks to university staff and print and electronic media for their cooperation. Now, I also express my heartfelt thanks to Dr. A.K. Singh Ji, DDG Horticulture Science Division of Horticulture, for gracing this occasion as a chief guest. Sir is a very simple and eminent personality of scientific fraternity, having immensely contributed to the field of horticulture uh, to list few a genetic improvement of fruit crops developed and released in six mango varieties and genetic improvement and through the plant tissue culture and transcriptome analysis of mango as a deputy director general of horticulture science is responsible for planning coordination refinement and assessment of research programs now i request dr ak singh ji to deliver his convocation address to this August gathering. Thank you. Sabi ko namaskar. Honorable Governor of Telangana, the Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry and Chancellor of Sri Konda Lakshman, Telangana State Horticulture University, Dr. Srimati, Tamil Sai, Sandarajan, Garuji, esteemed Vice Chancellor of this university, Dr. Srimati Neerja Prabhakar, members of the Board of Management, Academic Council, learned faculty, staff members, dear students, press and media. I feel honored to be present among this illustrious gathering uh, of uh, Telangana Horticulture, State Horticulture University for the second convocation. At the very outset, I convey my heartiest congratulations to all the students who have successfully completed academic requirements for the degrees and award for excellence. I also congratulate the learned faculties who worked hard with the students to impart quality education and to equip them with the knowledge and necessary skills to serve the society with a human touch. On this special day, I extend my sincere thanks to the Honorable Governor of Telangana and Chancellor of this university for this opportunity which has made possible to take part in this great occasion. I also congratulate Dr. Nirja Prabhakar, Vice Chancellor, and her entire team of the university for their dedicated efforts in conduct of convocation. Agriculture is the foundation of civilization, culture, and heritage of India. More than half of Indian population derive their livelihood and income from agricultural activities among the, the, among the agriculture in recent years, the horticulture sector has emerged as the most vibrant sector in Indian agriculture. Horticulture provides an opportunity to much needed diversification and intensification of the adequate nutritious food and augmenting the income of the farmers. Horticulture production increased 13 fold from 25 million tons from 1950-152 to the current year. Growth is massive. It has created huge employment and playing its big role in containing the malnutrition, increasing the cropping intensity in the entire agricultural profile. And in future times, when the climate change is here, is going to play even vital role. Currently, India is the second largest producer of horticulture crop next to China, contributing 11.4 and 11.8% 11 of the world's total food and fruits and vegetable market, respectively. India is the largest producer of ginger, okra, many other crops, and maybe in coming years or decades, many other crops will follow. In addition, the government policies and schemes such as the Mission for Integrated Development Horticulture, which is popularly called as MIDH, offer a great stimulus 
to ensure the holistic development of horticulture sector in the country. The average horticulture farmer household income grew from 70,000 rupees, 70,000, 73,000 per annum to 130,000 rupees per annum. That's very remarkable. Horticulture mission, the National Horticulture Mission program has been implemented by the, by the state in such a way that the results are very much visible. Honorable Governor, this has happened because of the landmark development in, in development of varieties, matching production technologies, and it is through technologies we were able to connect ourselves with the farmers and stakeholders where we have provided impetus to the investors and also the market needs, local as well as global. Many varieties which have been developed by the local universities also, as Dr. Nirja has mentioned that they are the partner in the All India Crop Research Improvement Projects. So we can come up with the technologies and varieties which is suitable for the local conditions, local needs, local consumers. We have developed many good agricultural practices which was the need of the hour and they are being used in fruits and vegetables including the plantation crops. Many patents during the era have been, uh, have been awarded or awarded to the respective university staff members and ICR institutions on different technologies for production of alcohol from cassava. Cassava research starts based biodegradable plastics, fermented cassava flour, and hand-operated cassava chipping machines. These are in use by the local farmers and local uh, investors at, at village level or block level. Production technology of the high yielding oyster mushroom, medicinal and blue oyster mushroom, which is a high priced commodity in the segment of mushroom. The technology have been developed, they have been scaled up and this has been licensed to many of these entrepreneurs. And they are earning huge for profit as compared to the cereals, pulses and horticulture crops. Honorable Governor, despite success and the government support, climate change is a reality and more so in tropics and subtropics. That is, that is presenting many challenges from production, agricultural operations, and in a way this is denting if the scientific and innovative technologies are not operated at the field level. This is going to dent the production, productivity, and the quality. And therefore, innovative ways and the contemporary development of science and technology has to be deployed at every level. And therefore, the roles of academic institutions like this is much more important to create skill and a knowledge-based uh, graduates and post-graduates and PhD staff who can contribute directly as a staff member in order to generate the human resources or they become researchers or they are able to play, go into administration and play their roles at various levels. We've been able to develop many varieties we have taken in the production, both for fresh consumption and also for the value-added farmers. As a result, the export of horticulture commodities, high value crops in India, is rising in India also, with the buying, uh, rising buying capacity in India, and also our contribution to the global market in the trade is rising year on year. Earlier, we laid great focus on development of varieties with a high yield, or the varieties which has ability to withstand the onslaught of, onslaught of stress conditions, biotic or abiotic. But now, the requirement has changed. We have to change, our priority has to change at very, very, very basic level of UG, PG, and PhD level. So that we deploy our resources, deploy the matching technologies to develop a material where the trades which is being traded in the global market and local market is there in the varieties that you develop. However, the matching technology development is equally important. It has to be developed in such a way that this is user friendly, farmer friendly, so that farmers with a great ease, they can use it. And with the technical backup of either agriculture universities, horticulture universities, or ICR institutions, or KVKs, or any other relevant agencies, they can do the backing in the farmers in the event of occurrence of any disease, pest pathogen, or some certain things. These days when you talk of exporting the commodities, because agriculture and horticulture export is rising, 
then the question of contaminants, toxins, residues in the commodities is rising. Honorable Governor, I'd like to mention that in 50s or 40s, every single bunch of grape that India consumed was based on the supply from Europe. Today, India is exporting grapes to those countries from where we started importing. It was 2002 when the last consignment was rejected on, on the basis of contaminants and toxins in the grape in Europe. We have reduced it to the level of 98%. In the last few years, none of the grape consignment has been rejected in either EU, EU or any other Eastern countries. This has happened because in the last 20 years, we deployed our efforts in skilling the people, establishing the matching, I mean, international standard laboratories where before export of any commodity can be tested and the certificate is being issued. I think more and more laboratories are needed. ICR and the central government, Ministry of Agriculture is very much vigilant on this particular aspect. And we'll be happy to know that there are many laboratories like that has come up where the testing facilities are making export much more easier and much more reduction in the rate of our commodities in the global market. Ma'am, we, we are producing something like, the, as per the latest estimate, we are going to produce 341 million tons from 25 million tons in 50s and 51. But still the post-harvest losses are very high. Despite we have the cold storage capacity in India to the tune of 36.6 million tons capacity, still losses are very high because of the fragmented supply chain system, short of the cold storage in different parts of the country. And the saddest part is that these cold storage capacities in India, although massive, no other countries has, has no other countries in the world have 36 million capacity, cold store capacity other than other than India. But most of these cold storage capacities are meant for potato. We, we are, we, we, ICAR work on 135 different commodities. So each and every commodity has its own requirement for cold store. We need to have a customized system so that losses could be minimized. And therefore, the interplay of the logistics and infrastructure development for this whole process is going to be so crucial and I think the central government and the state government are doing their role on this one. Water is one of the most critical input of the horticulture crops. The vision of the Honorable Prime Minister per drop more crop is to save water by adoption of micro-irrigation in horticultural crops. Significant area has been increased in the country under the micro-irrigation after launching our Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana. Due to diverse agroclimatic conditions, strength of traditional knowledge, practicing farmers, there is a scope for taking up the natural farming in the country. Therefore, our priority should be to promote the research in this area to generate more and more data points which could be deployed in decision making. Nanotechnology applications have been huge potential to change the agricultural production by allowing better and scientific management of and conservation of the natural resources. To ensure the holistic growth in horticulture, Union Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Sri Narendra Singh Tomarji, virtually launched the Horticulture Cluster Development Program in 2021 to leverage geographical specialization and promote integrated and market-led development of horticulture clusters. The program will benefit more than a million farmers in 53 horticulture clusters. This is high time for the universities to utilize the potential of cutting edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, automation, robotics, drones in horticulture, alternative sources of energy, protected cultivation, crop nutrition modeling, biosensors, genomics, gene editing, etc. The precise application of inputs such as seed and fertilizer, water, pesticide, etc., with the use of precision technologies is going to play a critical role to increase input use efficiency, which is badly needed in tropics and subtropics. The establishment of SAUs based on the pattern similar to that of the land grant universities in the United States was landmark in reorganizing and strengthening the agricultural education system in India. These universities became the branches of research 
under the ICAR and became partners of the National Agricultural Research System, which we popularly call as NARES. Sri Konda Lakshman, Telangana State Horticulture University, is the only horticulture university in Telangana State and fourth in the country. This university is mandated to serve the needs of the fast growing horticulture sector in terms of providing human resources, improved technologies for Atmanirbhar Bharat, and paving way for futuristic impact and vision of the university through village adaption program disseminating new technologies to the farmers by college researchers, students. I hope in near future collaboration with the ICR institutions, including many other agencies, which is in various parts of the country, and also the world-class institutions, RCG institutions, for securing the germ plus so that they can be deployed efficiently, efficiently in the popular background to have a material which has the ability to counter the climate changes. Horticulture is full of opportunities for jobs, for job creations, for skilled people. Like Western countries or United States. And I think we have not been able to capitalize this aspect. I hope university like this, when they exit with the degrees, they are fully skilled and trained with the modern knowledge, modern backup of the scientific technologies, so that once they go to the field in any roles, they justify their roles in the field and earn the name for the state, for the university and country. Since the inception of the university in 2014, the university has become, university has been accelerating progressively and achieved many significant achievements. Most prominent is obtaining ICR accreditation of the university and colleges for BSc horticulture four departments of MSc and a PhD programs for a period of five years. I am confident that under the dynamic leadership of Dr. Srimati Nirja Prabhakar, Honorable Vice Chancellor of this university, some more colleges will become functional soon with a matching accreditation requirement. At present, Government of India has introduced the new education policy at this university should also take this challenge to implement new educational policy policy very effectively. Dear students, as we celebrate your accomplishments today, remember there is no room for complacency. Embrace challenges. Try to be innovative to develop the matching technology so that you can bring the cheer on the faces of the farmers. Enable them for more and more from less and less natural resources. Bear in mind that these resources are at stake. They should not be spoiled so that the posterity take pride in your efforts and continue this tradition in a way like never before in the history. I once again congratulate the students of this university who have received degrees, medals, awards today and my best wishes to all the graduates of the SKL TSU for successful and rewarding careers. My best wishes to the SKL TSU for success in its mission of contributing to the sustainable development goals of the country. Namaskar, Jai Hind. Now, I request the Honorable Chancellor to deliver her address to the convocation. A special good morning to each and everyone here. First of all, heartiest congratulations for the horticulturalist. And this is a special day.
for all of you and i should congratulate your vice chancellor madam neeraja prabhakar for her excellent work because when i saw her during the the hot agriculture meet when i voluntarily went and attended that so i really met almost 60 vice chancellors from the agriculture horticulture and fisheries after hearing the speech of the distinguished chief guest of the convocation dr anand kumar singh deputy director general horticulture science new delhi i think that almost he has covered everything about horticulture about the cultivation the marketing the export and how the country is moving forward in the field of horticulture so he really covered exhaustively so i think nothing is to be said by the chancellor about horticulture so my respects to each and every one here and esteemed members of board of management members of the academic council learned faculty officials staff of the university representatives of the press and media respected parents and my dear students i should say previously and all because you know i am a doctor when we were the medical students women means they will take only gynecology as their desired group so when some option is given to the students it is it was very rare selecting the branches like agriculture so today i am very happy to see the students who have opted for agriculture particularly horticulture so you are going to be the pillars of the integrated agriculture field of our country as our honorable prime minister says this integrated approach will definitely develop our country and i am very much surprised you opted for horticulture and you are gaining your degrees today and as it is said already about the horticulture and how india is moving forward on how we have improved our exports and our production in ginger and other things i have to say because as a pride you have selected the horticulture how particularly branching of vegetables fruits and flowers as horticulture have helped the country because when we were studying medicine my sir used to say first we are studying medicine and then it branched out into cardiology nephrology urology gynecology and in future there will be a specialist for right ear and there will be an another specialist for left ear so it will be decentralized like that so even now horticulture before and all agriculture means it was unitedly agriculture and now it has been divided at speciality so you could concentrate more on the fruits vegetables and flowers as a doctor i can say you take a very important role in managing the balanced diet nowadays there is a plate psychology they say take a plate and in the plate half of the plate should occupy only by vegetables cereals and others take only the back seat so now you have gained important even in the kitchen even in the dining room and even in the offices so heartiest congratulations to you in the future the whole plate may be occupied by the vegetables because the life goes on like that the pandemic said that because you can see more vegetables you gain more immunity and you are the people who beautify the gardens now they are beauticians beautify and even the pharma products the natural products most most of the herb flowers vegetables are added i should say how our leaders were more passionate about the flowers the mangoes the fruits and all sarojini naidu 
when she was in the prison madam saroji naidu when she was in the prison during our freedom struggle she was asked to go away from the prison because that was the last day of her punishment punishment means because of the freedom struggle she told please give me on another day then the prison the officer of the prison was so much surprised he said everyone will be waiting for the day of release but you are telling please give me another day why you want to be in another day for another day in the prison then she told i have planted a rose plant at the backyard of my prison now it is in the budding stage tomorrow it will open its petals so i want to see the rose bloom and then go that is the passion the leaders had on flowers and others so started liking it it is not that this branch which is only giving some money to the country improving the economy but beautifying the life beautifying the body as well as the environment i always love to the whole culture of the uh, uh, nutritional intake is totally changed so there is a very big role for the horticulture in the future also because it is not i am not underestimating the cereals and the pulses but vegetables are more colorful and make our plate colorful and make our day also colorful because when we take vegetables and uh, fruits will be more healthy and more it gives more nutritional value and when gandhi ji was released from the eravada jail he came to hyderabad you should know the importance of the fruits vegetables and others because all the other your star words and your academicians teach you about how to grow the crops and i want to know want to teach you how you should like how the flowers and the how our ancestors were more took more pride in cultivating the vegetables and flowers and fruits gandhi ji was released and directly he came to hyderabad and in the premises of madam sarojini naidu south there is a mango tree how many of us know that he took a mango when he was in the jail and he ate that mango and he was released and he took the seed here and for a program he visited hyderabad and when he was staying in the house of madam sarojini naidu he dug the soil and he put the seed and that seed grew into a mango tree and still that mango tree is in that premises i believe so these all the things how the horticulture was in the hearts of our leaders hearts of everyone my request is now the economy because of the economy not only the cultivation the storage and the how it is going to be conveyed to the future generation and definitely corona taught us a lesson how vegetables and fruits are more supportive for our nutritional value so start liking the subject now you have specialized and you are really very opportunity you have so much of opportunities to improve your branch of studies and i am really very happy as a chancellor i want to convey to you please evaluate the research activities more research activities because these things can be correlated with the medicinal plants herbs and even now the the shoe flower we say hibiscus it is a medicine in the villages and all i have seen they will pluck the flower and they will eat it so what all the flowers can be taken as raw medicine do some research on that because now the whole we are moving towards our roots we were more towards the fashion life but corona taught us please see your roots how your ancestors were taking the nutritious food how your ancestors had immune boost have boosted immunity 
So because of that, please research how, what all the flowers, fruits, vegetables, more helpful to our ancestors, how they were more healthy when compared to us. You can see our grandfather, grandmother, they were all more healthy than us. We are more weak, even now, when we cross 40 years, as a doctor, I cannot see a person without diabetes. I cannot see a person without hypertension. But our ancestor, my grandmother lived till 89 years. My grandfather lived till 90 years. I have seen them taking only natural foods. Most, most of the plates had only natural foods. So not only the horticulture, and because your curriculum will have it, but more of research activities and how these flowers and fruits help our elders to immune their boost and how they to help. So please focus more on the research activities. And apart from that, you should know each and everything about the, you should make the people aware about the vegetables, fruits, flowers, and in a lighter sense, in a school, a teacher was telling, we have to take the children to the farm. The modern children don't know anything about the vegetables because when I was saying to a child, the child said, my doctor said, please take carrots, fresh carrots. Then the child didn't know how the carrot is grown. The child was asking, madam, Carrot will be above the soil or below the soil and how it is cultivated. Even a child of his standard don't know how the cr carrots are cultivated. So these are thought-provoking things. We have to make the children, make the youngsters aware how the horticultural products are produced and how the flowers help us even in the medicinal aspects. So please create awareness among the public and enjoy your speciality and do more research on this. Because after the rice, now I have to say, in Tamil Nadu, we have rice for everything. Mapala Samba, they say, the rice to be taken in the day of marriage, a rice to be uh, taken on the day of menarchy, a rice to be taken during the uh, menstrual periods, a rice to be taken during our hard work, a rice to be taken during recreation. So many types of rice. But now we take only one rice, we know. And now we don't know what is the difference between the brown rice and the polished rice. So many things differ from each other in the nutritional value and other things. So research is needed and this speciality can be expanded to its maximum. It's a new speciality and I really congratulate you. Please grab the opportunities. Whatever the opportunities you face in your life, grab the opportunity, whether it is research, whether it is new opportunities. And whenever you face with some debacles, don't sit and cry. Please search for other new avenues. I should say when I went to Atlanta, I saw one statue for a bee. I was very much surprised. Usually we see statues for leaders, Star Wars scientists, there was a statue for a bee. I was asking how they have installed a statue for a bee. Then an elder person told a story about that. These children, these farmers had a habit of cultivating cotton crops. There was a bee during one season, it came buzzing and took all the buds of the cotton. So year after year, all the farmers had a very big loss in their cultivation and they became very poor. Sir, so one of the elder farmer came and told, we are unable to control the bees. So what we will do, whatever maybe we cultivate, the bees will come and eat away. So let us find a crop which will be cultivated under the earth so that the bees cannot bite it or take it or spoil it. So they all sat together and started cultivating groundnuts. 
that after they cultivated the groundnuts they all become very rich they had ample amount for them and they exported for other countries and they become very rich so what they thought if the bee wouldn't have spoiled our buds of the cotton we would have continued in the cotton cultivation so this this bee made us to think different and because of this bee we cultivated groundnuts and because of that we all became rich so we will install a statue for this bee that is the positive thinking in a negative aspect so what all the obstacles you think so you think this obstacle is for to open a new avenue so that you can be successful whatever may be the situation so when i was addressing a school gathering yesterday the program was at about 2 o'clock all the children were sitting in the sun i was telling the parents were telling these students the the organizers made our children to sit in the sun for half an hour this is short period duration then i told no no don't think that the organizers made your children to sit in the hot sun think that the organizers wanted some vitamin d for your children so i have asked them to sit in the sun so view everything positively whatever may be the negative thing start viewing positively so you will get positive results that is my message for your convocation thank you so much the candidates for the degrees will now stand forward all ug pg phd candidates do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that if admitted to the degrees for which you are severally candidates and for which you have been recommended you will in your daily life and conversation conduct yourselves as becoming members of the university do you solemnly and sincerely promise that to the utmost of your opportunity and ability you will support and promote the objectives of this university do you solemnly and sincerely promise that you will as far as in your lives uphold and advance social justice national integration and well being of our country and fellow men let the candidates now be presented madam chancellor permit me to present to you these candidates in accordance with the graces of the board of management just passed and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of doctor of philosophy in horticulture in sri kondalakshman telangana state horticulture university vijay krishna golla ಹೇವಳ್ಳ ನಾಗಹರ್ಷಿತ ಗಂಗಾಲ ರವಿಕಾಂತ್ ಪಿ 
श्रावण कुमार पीयूष रावंती दंडे श्रीनिवास के वेंकटलक्ष्मी जे जीना पी अनिता पी तिरुपतिया तनुजा जे लक्ष्मण कुमार जी ज्योति एस वेणुगोपाल सौजन्या के दिव्या by virtue of the authority vested in me as chancellor of the sri kota lakshman telangana state horticulture university i admit i admit you to the degree of doctor of philosophy in horticulture in this university and in token thereof you have been presented with the degree and i authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of your degree madam chancellor permit me to present to you these candidates in accordance with the graces of the board board of management just passed and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of master of science in horticulture in sri konda lakshman telangana state horticulture university yes permitted p sampurna आर रवितेजा एस सहारिका एस अक्षिता पी श्रीकांत एन जॉनसन आर विनायक स्वर्णलता ए सौजन्या के स्वाति एम प्रशांति आर प्रशांत एस हिमबिंदु वी श्रुति एस भरत कुमार by virtue of authority vested in me 
as chancellor of Sri Konda Lakshman, like Telangana State Horticulture University. I admit you to the degree of Master of Science in Horticulture in this university and in token thereof you have been presented with the degree and I authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of your degree. Madam Chancellor, permit me to present to you these candidates in accordance with the graces of the Board of Management. Just passed and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours in Horticulture in the Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticultural University. Yes, the number of candidates for the award of degree are 2020-94, 2021-94 and 2022-92. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of the Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticulture University, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Horticulture in this university and in token thereof, you have been presented with the degree and I authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of your degree. Madam Chancellor, permit me to present the candidates whose names are herewith submitted and also those who have applied to receive their degrees in person but could not be present now be admitted to their respective degrees in absentia. Master of Science in Horticulture, 37 candidates. Bachelor of Science Honours in Horticulture, 202 candidates. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of the Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticulture University, I admit in absentia the candidates listed for the respective degrees in the university, including those who have having applied to, to receive their degrees in person but could not be present now and in token thereof permit the registrar to present them with their degrees and authorize the degree holders to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of their degrees. Gold medals for the postgraduate for the period from 111 2019 to 317-2022. Pallarla Sai Supriya of 2020 is awarded with three gold medals, SKLTSHU gold medal for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average. And Srimati C. Pramila and C. G. Vanraj Memorial gold medal for girl student for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average and C. And C. Boga Chandraya and then Gangubai Memorial Gold Medal for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average in Vegetable Science Department. Adula Gayatri of 2021 is awarded with three gold medals, three SKLTSHU medal for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average among all the disciplines. Srimati Sri Pramila and then Sri Sri Jeevanraj Memorial Gold Medal for girl student for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture 
with highest overall grade point average among all the disciplines, Srimati and Sri Boga, Chandraya and in Gangubai Memorial Gold Medal for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average in Vegetable Science Department. Nova Icon Gold Medal is awarded to M. Sandhya Rani of 2020 for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average in Food Science Department. Nova Icon Gold Medal is awarded to MS Sneha Priya for 2021 batch for having completed Master of Science in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average in Fruit Science Department. A gold Medal for the undergraduate for the period of 111 2019 to 31 7 2022 SKLTSHU gold medal is awarded to Mittapalli Krishore of 2020 for having completed Bachelor of Science Honours in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average. SKLTHU gold medal is awarded to Repaka Harika of 2021 for having completed Bachelor of Science Honours in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average. SKLTSHU gold medal is awarded to K. Tejasvi of 2022 batch for having completed a Bachelor of Science Honours in Horticulture with highest overall grade point average. I dissolve this convocation.
I request all the BSc, MSc, and PhD students to proceed to the golden tree for a group photo with the dignitaries. All the BSc, MSc, and PhD students to proceed to the golden tree for a group photo with the dignitaries.